Yes, sir, Jay, from one lion to another, because you may have seen yesterday uh, UKIP have a new leader, leader and they have a new logo, a lion. So we're speaking to, for his first national broadcast interview since becoming leader, to UKIP's new lion, Henry Bolton. Morning, Henry. Good Thank morning. you very much for joining us and congratulations on your victory yesterday. Thank you, um, Thank you. Just to start off with, really, why did you want this job? I mean, when you consider what has no happened idea. to the no previous, idea. no idea. <laughs> well, no, yeah, you, you I mean, may very well say that. But yeah, why, when you consider what had happened to mm. the previous four in only a year, mm. people might think, why on earth does he want it? Yeah, so uh, I mean, I can understand them asking that question. I mean, the, 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 pro the problem is, I and mean, it's ir ir irrespective of the previous leaders, um, we're now at a critical point in the country's future. Um, we we are going into this Brexit. Uh, negotiations uh, with, uh, frankly, we're not making much progress. And it's critical that going forward we do so because uh, the future of this country's uh, welfare, its security, its trade, its whole economy, people's optimism is all going to be based into the future. It's going to be based on the outcome of these negotiations and how we leave the European Union. And this, this party is obviously the party that brought about effectively the referendum and its result and we have a moral well, obligation right. to be constructive well, in that debate well, let's talk about brexit but, in a minute but i mean many people in your party have said rightly i think that as the party goes forward into the future mm. you need other policies yes, other areas to focus other than brexit so i was just looking at your website last night yep. and to be honest i was quite hard pushed to find other mm. policy areas that you're interested in other than brexit so maybe you could just tell us quite quickly say three policy initiatives three policies that you would like to see brought in unrelated to brexit no, I, I, I mean, the, there are, they're all related to Brexit in one way or another, so in effect. all your party policies no, are related no, to Brexit? No, no, no. That's, the, 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 we've, we've got to, uh, I've said publicly before, that we're going to go back to the 2015 manifesto right. as the baseline. Right, OK. So that's the start point. Right, OK. And it's already produced, it's already there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to review all of that. So, um, you may have so seen... What was wrong with you, your recent manifesto, your 2017 what, what, manifesto? Uh, the, the 2015 one... I believe is a more appropriate start point well, for us to, to review. <laughs> That's true, um, but to start a, a review and a, a, an adjusting from that that baseline. Okay. Now, uh, just to go back to the previous question about uh, or the point I was making about Brexit, it is not just about leaving the European Union. That's my point. If if we do not set ourselves up as a nation, internally and externally, in our outward. Uh, approach to, to other nations. If we don't set that up in the right way as we go into the Brexit situation, into leaving the European Union, we are not going to be at the best start point to launch our own uh, independent future, if you like. So it's, it's related surely, surely there to are three other issues that you could name, or just another issue that's unrelated yeah. to Brexit, something I mean, no, that you care about. You're a politician now, you know, you must have lots of views. For example, last night, um, I've made it very clear that, or yesterday, that uh, I believe that we need to immediately reverse cuts to border force, and we need to, uh, we need to develop a national border strategy. So, so, now it's about trade facilitation, it's about security. Okay, so let's, sort of, let's just take a, just, just a few quick-fire questions, and just to try and flesh out your, your politics a little bit. In the past, your party has said that it's in favour of a referendum on the death penalty. Is that something that you would be in favour of? Uh, no, I'm, uh, no, we, we don't, we've got other priorities there. We're not going down that route, not at the moment. No. Okay, and an immigration cap? What do you think immigration should be roughly in this country? Something your party uh, would be very interested in? I'm not giving a cap, look. Oh, uh, well, in 2015, but you said, you said yeah, you know, you're going back. There's a baseline. There's a baseline. Okay, so, no, so, so, so not, not that bit. No, no. I, I mean, you know, we need a point system. Right. And it needs to be flexible enough to deal with the different needs and demands on the nation and on the immigration situation globally. Well, now, how much do you roughly, just to be clear... No, I'm not going to put a figure on it. I'm but your, gonna, your party it, used to say 50,000, 30,000... I'm not going to put a figure on it. What I would like to see is, that, what is the problem? Is the problem that we're not at zero, or is the problem that we have an immigration rate that is higher than we can actually manage as a nation, that is overwhelming our public services and it is overwhelming our communities. Okay. So now, that, that becomes a problem. Okay. And it, you can't set a figure on that and stick okay. to it. So, so, you, so you're moving away from the 2015 manifesto on the death penalty and... based um, on the 2015 manifesto. Okay. Well, there's two quite important issues. Um, uh, talking about taking Brexit, mm. do you think there should be any transition period for this country as we leave the European Union? I don't the think there should be. No, absolutely you, not. However, uh, the, the government at the moment has failed to plan and prepare for the day that they, we leave the, the European Union, in particular the customs union. Okay. Now, there are going to be heavy demands on our borders that day that we leave, 
and no planning or preparation has taken place. Now, that takes time. So if you need to recruit additional border force staff, if you need to, to design, or, or identify the needs, design and then build additional facilities, for example, this takes time. Now, because the government's already lost 14 months, then indeed there may well be a need to push that forward. So uh, Nigel Farage used to say, now, Nigel Farage yeah. used to say that it wouldn't be a problem if we leave on World Trade Organization rules. Do you agree with that? Uh, not entirely. We can do it. But it's not a simple, let's do it. Bang. It seems to be it's very different no, from, from the old UK. I mean, Nigel Farage, no, 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 your, your leader. former leader, I'm yeah, sure, leader. but your former leader, Nigel Farage, the man who basically yeah. endorsed you for this, yeah. he used to say that there should, he says there should be no transition period. He says that should, World Trade Organization. Right. So there should be a transition I've, no, period. No, I've said there but should not be, should, should not, not be. be. However, I do not want, on a point of principle, to say there should not be, and as a result, we have a car crash on our borders. Okay. So, so, quite a, so well, it's not. It's, it's not different. Okay, just, look, you just, ask me, should there be? Just, just okay, just. And, and I don't think. Well, Anne Waters, the defeated candidate. Yeah. You described. I think it was no secret that you essentially said that you thought that if the party chose her, the party risked becoming a Nazi party. Do you think that there are Nazis in your party now? And if no. so. Well, well no, you must have I, thought I said that there was a danger of it going down the path of being a National Socialist Party, yes. Right. And, 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 I, and I, I, I would stand by that. But we, yesterday, you saw that the party quite decisively decided not to go down that path. Yeah, and, and Nigel, I'm pleased about Nigel that. Farage says that uh, he hopes that she leaves the party. Do you agree? Uh, that's entirely her decision. Entirely her decision. And very funny. Do you like the new logo? Is it here to stay? I, I quite like it. But we, we have to appreciate that it's... it's a logo is about the identity of, of the party, and that's a matter also for the members. Uh, the members yesterday voted very strongly to adopt the new logo. Um, so that's the lines here to stay. The UKIP lines will be again. I, I think it will be. Yes. All right. We good. might tinker around with it a little bit. Okay. Well, thanks very much for joining us. There Thank you are. You. The new uh, UKIP leader trying to rescue his party from what I think to say has been something of a political irrelevance over the past six months or so. Be very interesting to see how he does.